Hey guys, got another pin video here for you. I hope everyone's doing well. And this was uh, last week's mystery pin. And uh, one of the things you may notice about this pin in the video is just how much of the screen it takes up. This is a very large pin. Now, I'll reveal what uh, pen it is. Um, it is the Gamma Jumbo Acrylic Fountain Pen. Um, this pen I actually got off of asapens.com or asapens.com, depending upon how you say it. Um, it's the only pen that I've bought from that website. It's a, an Indian pen retail website, and the pen. The pins come directly from India, and I know some of you um, are very familiar with the Asa pins, and um, I acquired this one from that website. Now, I know you can get this pin on FPR as well. I've seen it on Kevin's website also. So you've got a couple different options as far as where you can buy it. Now, Buying it from FPR, you may pay, you're gonna pay more for the pen, uh, but you're gonna get it a lot faster. Now, if you buy it from ASA pens or ASA pens, then it's gonna take a longer length of time to get to your front door because obviously it's gonna be shipped from India. And it, it did take me take a few weeks before this pen, um, before I received it. I have owned this pen now for a little over a year. This was the first eyedropper fountain pen I ever purchased. And uh, I, I did have my trials and tribulations with it just because I didn't really know a lot about Indian fountain pens nor um, eyedropper fountain pens for that matter. And I'll kind of talk about some of those opportunities I had with the pen. Now, this pen I think is, is, is a really... I think gorgeous pen, you know, it is completely um, transparent as far as the barrel goes. The cap is got that icy cloudy look to it. Um, this pen is offered in two different cap styles. And what I mean by that is you have the style that I have here, this flat top style, or you can purchase it in a rounded top style where you have a rounded cap finial. Now with the rounded cap finial, you actually get a different clip style as well. I've noticed that clip is going to be, uh, it's not going to be this clip here. It's going to be more of a, a thicker clip and it's going to have some uh, steps to it. That clip to me looks a lot like, or, or somewhat like a sailor fountain pen clip or maybe even a platinum fountain fountain pen clip. So that would be if you were to buy it with the rounded cap finial. Now the pins I've seen on FPR from what I've been able to tell and I may be wrong on this most of them have the rounded cap finial. I haven't seen um, Kevin's website offer them differently. Now on uh, asapens.com there, it is offered with either this uh, flat top or the rounded top. And then of course you'll get the two different style clips. So looking at this pen, again, it is a massive pen. Um, I think it is a very attractive pen. I love the fact that, you know, when you work, make your way down this barrel, I think it's really interesting that uh, it, it's been machined out, but then you'll notice it stops right here and it, it's very well polished. I, I, I love the, how the end here, um, stops. And looking at the cap here again, you know, it kind of has that icy cloudy look to it, which I like the fact that it's not just a completely 100% clear, transparent pen, so to speak. Um, I think the cap is kind of suits it. It looks nice. It, it's a massive cap, very large cap. Um, the clip is, is probably the one thing that, and it, now you can get this pen with or without the clip. Uh, at least I know you can on ACES website. 
Now this clip is, it kind of reminds me of a FPR clip. You'll notice that it has uh, where it's been kind of crimped on the back side there. Um, I don't mind the clip. It's probably the least aesthetically pleasing part of the pen in my opinion. But again, I don't, I don't mind it. Now you'll see here um, how it is attached. So I'm assuming this part, your, your top part of your finial here attaches down and then keeps that clip uh, together there. I have not attempted to remove this. I'm sure it is removable, but I'm not going to attempt to do that unless I absolutely have to. Now, one of the things with this pin is it has tons of threads. It has tons of threads for the cap. It has tons of threads for the barrel. Um, in order to take this cap off, if I remember correctly, it takes four full turns. So there's two turns, three, number four. So yeah, so about four full turns to get that cap off the pin. Now it has a very nice size section, um, which tapers down just slightly and then flares out at the end. The uh, threads here are not uh, sharp or anything for that matter. It really, you, you barely notice the threads. They are machined very well. And um, if you do hold the pin up higher, it definitely should not bother you at all. It does not bother me at all. But you know, this has a very large section. And I mean, to me, it's very comfortable to hold this section. Now you can see there, I mean, it is very, very big section, you know. Um, now I've done long writing set, long writing sessions with this pen and it doesn't, I don't have really any hand fatigue necessarily. This is not a very heavy pen because of the material it's made out of. So for me, it doesn't bother me as far as the size of the section. Now you do have an ebonite feed which of course is, is awesome. I mean, you know, Ebonite feeds are very universal in the sense you can get a lot of different types of nibs to work with these feeds if you um, heat set it properly. And um, I actually have a Goulet um, extra fine nib on here. Um, and, and this nib, it's a, a black nib that I put on here. This did come with the with a standard number six uh, nib that just said uh, Iridium Point Germany. It was not one of the um, Asa branded nibs, nor the Yovo nib that they offer. It was just the standard nib that came with this pen. So, you know, really, in a nutshell, that's the pen. There are tons of threads here for the barrel, so you're, you shouldn't really have to worry about any leakage from the barrel uh, or from the section area. Definitely put some silicone grease on that. It, it would do you a lot of good to do that. Um, if you do that, then you should not have to worry at all about any leaks with this pen. So, you know, some of the issues that I had with the pen when I first got it was um, like a lot of us have with a lot of, uh, a lot of these type of pens. Now, I did not know much of anything about eyedropper pins at the time when I purchased this. And so when I got it, um, I kept having a lot of burping, um, a lot of ink expelling um, from the nib and feed section. And that was with the regular nib that it came with. Now, I did ask for the pen to be tested before it was sent to me. You know, and, and again, that doesn't necessarily mean the pen's going to work flawlessly just because I asked for the pen to be tested. And in my case, it did not. And it was frustrating. And I did put this pen away for a long period of time. And just because I got frustrated and didn't really understand or know how to fix the issue. But thanks to, you know, educating myself, watching other YouTube reviewers talk about eyedropper fountain pens, and some of the pros and cons of those pins and how you can fix that. Um, watching uh, some of Kevin's videos from FPR as well as Brian Goulet and really just understanding, you know, the main thing that I had to do with this pin is just heat set the nib to the feed. And once I did that, I have never once had any problems with this. I try to make sure I keep the barrel predominantly full, um, but I've never had a problem since I did that with any type of leakage or anything else. I've thrown this pin in my backpack, so it's been rattled around a lot. 
you can see some just little ink droplets in there probably from being in my backpack and I've never really had an issue with this pen leaking at all um, since I did that. No more burping, none of that, and the pen works flawlessly. Really, that's about it as far as the pen goes. Um, I paid $26 for this pen, and you know, now that it writes the way I want it to, I have a nib on there that performs well, um, I really enjoy this pen. I did, just, just to let everyone know, I did try a flex nib on this pen. It did not perform very well. Then I'm assuming it's the feed. The feed was struggling to keep up with that specific nib. Um, so I was wanting to have a flex nib for this review. I took that nib off and put this uh, Goulet nib because I had it laying around. And the pen works well. I mean, it's a great workhorse pen. It holds a massive amount of ink. So if you're wanting a pen that is visually stunning, in my opinion anyways, and I would say a, a really good conversation starter, um, and a pen that's just gonna write for you very well, this is a good pen. I mean, especially for $26. Bear in mind, you're gonna pay more if you get it through, an, through FPR or someplace else, but if you're willing to be patient, check out Asa Pens. I will put a link in the description um, to this pen. That way, if anyone is interested, they can go on there and um, order one of these pens. Now, I'm gonna do a quick sizing comparison. I'm gonna bring in some pens just to give you guys some perspective on, on how large this pen is. So the first one I'm going to bring in is another Indian pen, and this is not a small pen, but this is um, a Renga acrylic fountain pen. And again, this is not a small pen. You know, it's not an extremely girthy pen, but it is a very long pen. The next one I'm going to bring in is a, is a girthier pen. This is the Conklin All-American and the Brownstone finish. And again, you can see how much larger the uh, Gamma pen is. And then the last one I'm going to bring in is the Jinhao 159 which again, a very large girthy pen, but it is still smaller than the Gamma. So that will give you an idea. I'll take the uh, caps off these pens and show it to you uncapped. And there you see them uncapped. And again, you know, not, it, it again is, is trumps all these pens in this lineup and none of these pens are small pens, but again, it is much larger. Now I had to zoom out for the posted look at these pens, but you can see the, the closest one as far as overall length, mainly the Conklin All-American does not post very deeply and the Renga posts, posts somewhat deeply. They do, and as far as the overall length, get at least closer to the Gamma, but obviously girth still the gamma is much larger this is not a pen in my opinion that i would post because it does make it just a enormous pen once you post it now you can post it and once you get it down on there it is pretty secure but again it is just a massive massive pen i would say for any size hands you can write with this pen unposted um Guys, up next, I will do a writing sample, and then we'll finish up from there. I'll see you in a moment. All right, guys, we're back. Let me uncap this guy. <clears throat> so as uh, I said before, this is the Gamma Jumbo. And um, just for, uh, because it is a little bit different, uh, this is the flat top. As you can tell, this nib works very well. Even though it's an extra fine, it, it's not a, a super fine line. The, the feed works very well in this pen. Um, I've not had any issues with skipping or anything of that matter.
there you have it. Oh, the ink that I'm using is uh, Noodler's Apache Sunset. And this is a uh, this is a Goulet uh, extra fine nib. But I, I enjoy writing with this pen a great deal. I mean, it, it writes very well. Um, this nib, I think, is is great. I, I love this nib um, and this pen. It's a very wet writer. Uh, that nib and feed combination works very well. Um, I really don't have, again, I, the only nitpick I could give this pen is, I kind of mentioned it before, is the clip kind of just seems cheap to me. But again, you can get this pen without the clip. Um, and it does take forever to take the cap off, but it really doesn't bother me at all. Other than that, I, I really, really enjoy this pen. I will um, put dimensions either in the description or on the video so that way you guys know the length and, and everything of the pen, but I will also put in the description a link to Asa Pen's website to purchase this pen, which of course will have dimensions in that as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, real quick, I will show you um, the next video. This really to me is not much of a mystery pen, but I'll show it to you anyways. Everyone's gonna know what this pen is. Um, but there is, um, like most of these pens, there is something inside of it that is different that I switched out that hopefully will make for an enjoyable video um, upcoming. So let me know what pen you guys think this is as well for our next mystery pen. Um, even if you get it right, there is a, uh, something different about that pen that will make it an interesting video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, everyone take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.